Hi all, I am Shubham from Informatica GCS team. In this video, we will see how we can set up AWS Advanced Managed Clusters to execute mapping in CDI Advanced Mode. Agenda, prerequisites, then we will see what IAM rules are needed for AWS Managed Cluster Setup, followed by a demo. So what are fully managed clusters? A fully managed cluster provides a serverless infrastructure that intelligently scales based on your workload and offers the lowest total cost of ownership for your organization. The secure agent manages the entire Kubernetes lifecycle, including cluster startup, shutdown, auto-scaling, and upgrade. The agent manages the compute infrastructure and can create the advanced cluster. Fully managed clusters can be of three types, AWS managed cluster, Azure managed clusters, and GCP. So these are the prerequisites which are required to be followed before creating a fully managed clusters. Before you create an advanced cluster configuration, set up your cloud environment so that your secure agent can create advanced clusters. Verify that you have the necessary privileges and learn about the resource access. Fully managed AWS clusters will require the storage and logging locations. For that, create storage locations as we need to specify S3 locations for staging and logging. Also, if you want to use any initialization scripts, which you want to run the EC2 machines or the nodes, then create a folder in S3 bucket and place those initialization scripts there. Later, we can specify the initialization scripts part in advanced cluster configuration. Next, create VPC and subnets. If you want to use your own VPC, if you don't specify your VPC in advanced cluster configuration, then the default VPC will be used. Fourth, if you want to use your own security groups, then you can create them. Next, you can download secure agent. Once you once you have performed all those pre, all these prerequisites of uh, like creating VPC, setting up storage and logging locations, uh, then you can create and install the secure agent on Amazon EC2 machines. I, I'll show uh, the prerequisites or what minimum requirements are needed for installing Secure Agent when you are running mapping in advance. Allow domains in AWS as we need to fetch artifacts like images from uh, repositories, hence these domains need to be whitelisted. Mm -hmm. Next, create IAM rules. We need to set up IAM rules some of which are cluster operator roles, secure agent role, master role, master nodes, and worker nodes. If you are, if you want to use user defined uh, IAM roles for worker roles, uh, worker nodes and master nodes. And next will be to configure the Elastic Server Service. So we need to specify the cluster uh, cluster operator role in the Elastic Server Service. I'll show where we need to specify that. So once we are all done with. Uh, these steps, then we can go ahead and create the advanced cluster configuration. In advanced cluster configuration, we can specify the S3 staging and logging location, the VPC which we want to use, and the initialization step path and the rest of the details. And once you are done with advanced cluster configuration, you are all done. Now you can execute them. So these are the minimum requirements which your secure agent machine should meet. Post for CPU at least four memory 16 GB and disk space should be 100 GB at least. These are the domains which needs to be whitelisted to the outbound allow list for your security groups. These are required as we need to fetch the artifacts like images for running the mapping environment. Now we'll see what IAM rules are needed for setting up the advanced cluster. Please note that I have included the minimum set of permission, minimum uh, 
high end roles or minimum things which are required to quickly onboard your advanced cluster also the snippets of the roles which will be shown here are uh, just the snippets taken from uh, the our documentation you need to copy paste the complete uh, permissions and policies from our documentation the link for which will be provided in my session later on the first role will be cluster operator role create cluster operator role using cluster operator policy cluster operator policy contains permission that cluster operator role needs to create and manage cloud resources for an advanced cluster as i have mentioned this is just a snippet please refer our complete documentation to copy them make sure that the s3 bucket location or s3 bucket details which you are providing in cluster operator role is the same bucket which you have specified for staging and logging locations if you are using initialization script path in your s3 bucket or initialization scripts if you are using then specify the same s3 bucket next will be to create the agent role if you have an ec2 machine for your secure agent then you would already be having an iam role for your secure agent machine you can use the same role if not you can create a new a new role for your secure agent machine please note that your secure agent role should have access to s3 buckets which you will be using for staging and logging or initialization next Secure agent needs to assume the cluster operator role to gain elevated permissions to manage an advanced cluster. Hence, secure agent role needs to have assume role permission. Create a policy called assume role agent policy. Please note the policy which you will be creating should have the ARN of the cluster operator role as shown in the snippet in the resource section. That this ARN should point to your cluster operator role A, roles ARN, which you have created in the previous step. You can attach this policy, assume role agent policy, in the agent role itself. Next, configure the trust relationship. So, cluster operator role should trust secure agent to allow it to be assumed. So in the previous step, what we have done is we have given a assume role policy to the secure agent so that secure agent can assume your cluster operator. Now in this step, even the uh, like before the secure agent needs to assume the cluster operator role, the cluster operator role should also be aware. Like it should it should also need to trust the secure agent. So now here in this step, we will be editing the trust relationship of the IN role of cluster operator role. And, and we will be specifying the ARN of the agent role. So here, as, uh, as shown in this section, uh, in the AWS, this, this ARN will be the ARN of your secure agent role, which you have created in second step. Next, if you want to define your own roles for master nodes and worker nodes, then you can set it up. However, if you are looking for quick setup, if you want to quickly onboard your AWS Advanced Managed Cluster, then you can validate these permissions are present in your cluster operator role. As I am, I am, I mentioned before also, this is just a snippet. You can uh, go to our complete documentation and check if these permissions. In this step, the permissions are, are present in your cluster operator. Next, we need to create log access policy for your secure agent. Secure agent needs the permission to access the log location to upload the agent job log at the end of advanced job. Create a log access policy and attach it to the agent role. So we have attached few policies to the agent role. One is assume role agent policy, then we uh, and the other is this log access policy. And the one was agent uh, the policy which we created for agent role itself. Next step will be to configure the Elastic Server Service. Configure Elastic Server Service by passing the ARN of the cluster operator role. As shown here, the privileged role ARN key is the place where you need to pass the ARN of your cluster operator. So once you have done all these steps, you are 
okay and you you can you can go ahead and create the advanced cluster configuration and whatever details you are having like ppc street staging login locations your type of nodes which you want to create for master and blocker you can specify in the advanced cluster configuration if all these steps are done correctly your advanced cluster configuration should be validated successfully and you are all set to execute mappings in advanced now we'll see we'll see a quick demo okay so in this demo i'll show you the st locations which i have created for my staging and logging locations the iam rules which i have set up and the advanced cluster configuration details so if you have followed my presentation if you have created the cluster operator rule the first and the foremost thing is like you can pass the arm the cluster operator rule in the elastic server service just like i have passed in privilege rule arm key once this is passed we just show you so this is the s3 bucket which i have created and i am i will be using this folder for uh, my staging and logging location i would be using uh, default vpc and default subnets just uh, to show you as part of my uh, demo okay so this is the advanced cluster configuration which i have created you can pass the runtime environment which is tagged to the secure region which you are using you can choose the region you can choose the master and worker instance types uh, depending upon you like what instances you want to use for master and worker nodes for your advanced cluster uh, as you can see here i have passed the staging and logging location and you can pass the vpc and subnets which you want to use coming to the roles i'll just show you so this is my uh, agent role so as i have mentioned in my previous slides i have attached my agent role policy assume role agent policy and log access agent policy and in the cluster and this is my cluster operator role so as you can see this is the arn and same arn i have passed here so using these details you can create the advanced cluster configuration as now show it here and if all, everything is done correctly then uh, this advanced cluster configuration will be validated successfully and you are all set up to perform the mapping run with advanced cluster if there are any issues you can perform the mapping run in the verbos and you can provide us the you can check the logs you can refer this document which is showing the step by step guide about the policies and rules which you need to set up for aws managed clusters that's all for the presentation we would love to hear from you you can write us at supportvideos@informatica.com also you can follow us at https twitter.com thank you